No, we are now on the festival of Purim, and it is so many things that are behind the idea of Purim, and all of them are so relevant, <coughs> not only to Purim, to the whole world, because Purim is written, is equivalent to the all festivals. The first letters of Purim are the letters of the festival, Pei, Purim and Pesach. Then comes the letter Va, which is a connection, because this is Sukkot, but Sukkot is also the festival of Yetziat Mitzrayim. <laughs> it means that when Jews came out of Egypt, they built Sukkot and so on. So basically, this is a connection of this. Then you have the Reish, the letter Reish of Purim, which is a letter of Rosh Hashanah. Then you have the letter Yud of Yom Kippur. And you have the letter Mem of Matan Torah. Now, it is not only the connection of this festival. Basically, what happened on these festivals happened in Purim. Pesach, who oh, oh, Jews were under the slavery of Pharaoh in Egypt. No. God listened to the crying, to the shouting to, of the Jewish people. This is written, Shamati et Nakatam, and in yeah, Exodus, after praying, repenting, then comes Sukkot, as he said, basically, the same idea, going in desert, Sukkot, God defends them. Sukkah, the Sukkah represents unity. As it is written that the uh, Sukkah is a time when all Jews are together. As we have the symbol of the Lulav, the Lulav have four species, and each species, if you remember, the Medrash says, is a nugget against another part of Jewish people, like the Esrog, symbol of the righteous people, who are perfect in this, in studying Torah. Then there are others, Tamar, the palm tree, which is the days, representing good deeds. And then comes the lentil, good smell, good studying Torah and spiritual things. And then comes the Aroves, which don't have no taste and Nothing, right? And they represent a simple Jew. So all together, unity in the rule of the tie all of those t- together. So, Sukha is a symbol of unity, which <laughs> poor him because he's such unity. Oh, Jew think sending Mishlach Mones, you know, Mishlach portion of food <laughs> to anybody, good friend, but strengthening unity between this, giving money to the poor one, showing interest in poor one, trying to help as much as we can. And so a lot done in Purim to strengthen unity between Jews. So this is exactly what Sukhi was. Rosh Hashanah is a time of judgment when Jews up in heaven, you know, they will judge. No. What they deserve. And the same thing in Purim, unfortunately, the Jews did not listen to Mordechai. They went to the party, they thought everything was kosher, but in fact, we know the story that Amman was waiting to incite them with women and so on. So, up in heaven was the decree of Holocaust, the famous story. And Eliyahu told this to Mordechai, look, you know, you are in danger of Holocaust. which came back in Germany, yeah, <coughs> come to Kabbalah. And uh, he said to them, you know, you must repent, you know, from all your deeds. And Mordechai asked him, tell me how the... 
the increase frequency of his uh, mortar, it means of his uh, blood. So he says his mortar, so immediately he collected the people who did Shuvah and we had Purim. Now what is the idea of mortar or of blood? Mortar, it means that the sin was external, you know, they want to enjoy it. a nice party, who the nice wine, say, ooh, ooh. So they thought they can go at it. They did not, they did not think it is uh, forbidden. Okay, Mordechai said, no, don't do it, it's dangerous, because even though it's kosher, it's nice, and even Mordechai, the looks it will be kosher. But Aman was waiting them to incise them, you see. So uh, and this is what happened. So it was a terrible decree of of Holocaust and the Imam disaster killing young and old all Jewish people. So because it is mortal, it was only a matter of enjoyment, but basically they did not lose their faith in God, they knew they kept it to us, it should be. So Baruch Hashem is the Shiva the Lin to Mordechai. In the Holocaust Reform, for example, yeah, that change, you know, that change uh, some of mitzvot is not important, and uh, Berlin is Jerusalem, yeah, and the city of the, that change means it was ideology. It was blood. So blood can so, so this we had to go through very, very severe operation. Maybe also not what you are going through. So, as I said, very, very severe situation. So, as we mentioned also, the, the main letters of Purim are par, you know, perish. Yeah, and letters which represent power, you know, the, <laughs> the powerful decree, as one can say. And perish, as we said, no, it represents, unfortunately, Strong, strong powers, yeah. So, Baruch Hashem, Jews, this Shuval, unity, as we mentioned, the Fut Levab, and the Pah became poor. Yeah, poor people, they became the real as they were poor. <laughs> Not power, yeah, poor. It is interesting, as I wrote in my book, which is really so important, even Gematria. People should think Gematria is a nice, a nice game, no? Gematria is one of the most important foundations. Now we mentioned the Zohar said that in future Gematria will come very strongly. Gematria is one of the ways of the Torah, like, yeah. So I bought a whole book of Gematria, about 200 pages, yeah, the, the length of Gematria, you can get it. You see how much is in Gematria. All history can be in one letter. I wrote a book on one letter, six. Wow, what it represents, so much behind. So the interesting Gematria, which is brought in Ben Ishchai, which is very famous, Ben Ishchai, and he brings there that the word Purim has the same numerical value, Gimata, as the words Haman and Amalek. Yeah, Haman was from Amalek. So Haman and Amalek, those two words, if you had also the value of one for each, yeah, I mean one, this we said many times that adding something is like means to end and so on. So, what is the idea? What we learn from this? That, okay, Aman Amalek, we know quite well. By Purim, exactly the same numerical value. Also, we understand, yeah, because the main <laughs> troubles came from Aman from Amalek. Amazing. So, the idea is the following. I put in my boot, Mixed the Glory of Shabbos and Festivals. And I brought what really our sacred books learn from this. That on Purim, there are powers, prevalent that can wipe out the evil for which Amman and Amalek stand. The equivalent numerical value also symbolizes the struggle of the forces of good against the forces of evil. Yeah, it means you know quite well. 
ומאוד קריאת את זה, ואז נתנתי מלא פריץ, פריץ שואל, זאת אומרת, מין גוד על בד, על פרוסנט, This is why God created the world, it does not need many angels, yeah, really, people. So this is the reason that you have Grimatria, which are one side very, very positive, Kurim, oh, consider one of the highest time, you know, it's not going to abide the Kluya, the light of Kurim, the energy of Kurim, oh, it's very, very great. Yeah, as we saw that the Purim contains all the festivals, you know, not simple at all. So Amman and Amalek represent evil. Yeah, Amalek, if you remember, we brought the meaning of the word Amalek. Am, lack, a nation to lick the Jewish blood like dog, yeah, physically. And Amalek also... Amal Kof, it is a very deep idea, but the letter Kof represents the Amalekite, means the, this force, and the reason because the Kof, in Hebrew Kof, means copy. So what have to do with the copy? Because you see Amalek tries to copy Judaism. What it means? Unfortunately, you see, they bring all kinds of logic. Take example today. Communism, yeah, all this beautiful idea, you know, yeah. As I said, poker to one, poker to all, yeah. <laughs> beautiful ideas, even similar to the Torah, yeah. But you know, in the end, what was the real reason for it? And how many people gave their life because of this? So it means this is copying, yeah. Kof, this Amalek is Amalkov, the work of the Kof, which is copy, you know. The, the Hebrew word kof really represents copying. And this all the idea of, unfortunately, we have today copying, you know, Judaism, copying Judaism, the reform, and so on. This Amalek, amazing. It's Amalek means Amal kof, Amlak, physically. All what Amalek is behind the letters. Aman, as we said, Aman, are very, very severe letters. Men, Minchen, Germania, yeah, Eichmann, all those have the Mem and the Nun. Men are from the five groups, we spoke about it, from the five strengths, the tubes, the tubes of ten, this is the strongest. Men, so, Aman, then is written a very interesting idea about Aman when you take, when you write the fully Aman. Yeah, so when you write a man fully, like mem, write 80, noon, 150, yeah, noon is, no, no, noon is 106, yeah, sorry, it's full of little bit of wine, but it's okay, yeah, so amazing, a man, Aman, full gematria, full gematria, if you remember in my book, uh, full gematria means the real meaning of the thing. So the real meaning of Aman comes here, it's amazing. So, Aman, let us do it, yeah? A, C, yeah? A, a different way, it can be with U, it can be with Aleph, yeah? But let us take it with the letter Nun, yeah? So let us say, Noon, A, M, M, Noon. Noon is simple, 106, right? M, M is also simple, 80. A can be in a simple way, is A, A, 10. So how much it is? 106 plus 10, 116, plus 80, 196. No. What is under six is in Kabbalah, it's not uh, simple. 196 in Hebrew is a form, Kotz. Kotz. You know what is a Kotz? Kotz is a form. Yeah, a form. Oh. If you have a form in your body, it goes inside a uh, lot of pains, yeah. 
because Aman represents forms. Forms represent troubles, you know. <laughs> Difficult to go through if you make your oh, scratching your body and so on. Yeah. And not only this, but, but when the Torah speaks about Amalekites, yeah, or referring to Amalekites, the Torah says, Kotz v'dardar tatzmiach lecha. It's sent to Adam after he sinned from the tree of knowledge because of the snake. Yeah, who was the snake? The Satan, right? <laughs> this is the snake. Amalek is the same thing, Amalek are behind the Satan, you know, the power of the, of the Satan. So, what God said to him, because you ate, you gave power to the snake, you will have thorns, cuts, without doubt, that there is also cuts. You will have lots of thorns <laughs> in your life. I mean, and this up to today, you know, the Torah says about those nations that Israel will live in, in, in their land, yeah, like we have today, the terrorists, yeah? So then the, the Torah said, those nations that you left in your land will be to you thorns on your way. Yeah, Sninim, right in the end of the Book of Numbers, Messiah, yeah? Means those are the enemies of Israel, Amalekites are thorns. But this is what you have today. So, Interesting. So this is come all connected with Amalek. So this is what the Torah tells us. You must know that by doing, you know, Amalek got the power because of the sins of Jews. When they desecrated the Shabbos, in the, de- in the desert, when they le- came out from Egypt, it's written. After the, immediately after the story of the desecration of Shabbos by Jews, right? We have Amalek. Amalek came to fight with them. The same thing when Jews ask question, is God with us, is not with us, is God, where is God? And when I came to remind us there is a God. <laughs> then another place, Rafidim. Rafidim, almost like the Purim, the word of Purim, Rafidim. Rafidim is the place when Jews were lazy. This is what Rafidim means. Rafidim means lose hands. So when they were losing hands in fulfilling the commandments, Amalek came. Amazing. So this is Amalek comes in the phones, yeah, unfortunately. So very, very interesting. An important teaching that all our troubles is because of translating the Torah, especially Shabbos, holiness, sanctity. Another example for what we saw here, the Taman, in Amalek, yeah, the negative forces, again, pouring, the positive, comes the word snake, snake, Nachash in Hebrew, snake. Nachash has the numerical value of 358, and she says 358 is the numerical value of Messiah. No, what is Messiah? Messiah will bring us joy, happiness, mean save us from the power of the snake. So this is why the same numerical value. Interesting that if you add one more to the Gemata of Nachash, it means you have three, five eggs, the Gemata of the Satan. As the Satan draws its strength from the snake. Pur means a time when the materialistic forces, which are the weapons wielded by the Satan in the world, with holiness, are brought to submission by holiness and even turns back against the Satan. Amazing. So, in fact, the idea of, of Pur is to elevate all the physical, the materialistic, Thing, and this is about exactly now we are having a short time we have the meal so we does Purim uh-huh. the meal of Purim very very important it's one of the important mitzvahs of Purim and it's written that oh, 
This is a time that we are elevating the physical to the very high level, no? very high level above the physical. This way, the idea of drinking becomes this. It also shows that on this time we are above the physical, and this is ambition, you know, of holiness, and even turn back again the Satan. Yeah, this is uh, all the idea of Purim. This is why Purim is more important than Kippurim. Why Kippurim is a great thing. We are fasting, we are like angels. Very nice, but this is not the purpose of creation. The purpose of creation is that we eat and drink and enjoy the world, but according to what commanded us, keeping them its fault and so on. This is the idea. This, this is the, the goal, the destiny of the world. Purim, Purim is very nice. It's only a preparation to teach us. Yeah, we are doing repent. We are doing a lot of sins, unfortunately. Yeah, we are sinning and so on. We need Yom Kippurim to atone. But the idea is Purim. This power, Kippurim in Hebrew is Kepurim. Yeah, the Zohar said, like Purim. If it is like Purim, it means the Purim is more important. Yeah, for this reason, the mitzvot of Purim revolve among eating and drinking. That's you know, look, a little bit look funny. Yeah, yeah. Look, the Ramadan, they don't eat in the Ramadan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Amalek, a descendant of Isu, is a source of strife and division in the world. This trait of argumentativeness and hatred Amalek inherited from his grandfather, Isu. As Isu has the same gemat and numerical value of the word Shalom. <laughs> peace. What is, what is make pieces from people? So what is peace? Yeah. So the idea is also informing us, according to our learned rabbis, that Isu represent the complete opposite of peace, and that if Isu is elemented from the world, peace will come. You see, it is very interesting, like, look, even the world, you know, this, the Russia, you know, uh, Russia, this Russia wicked one, Russia in Hebrew is wicked. Yeah, how much, how much they are causing really war fighting and so on. Yeah, Adam, yeah, this is exactly what is written, yeah. It's a shalom. Here in Israel, unfortunately, you know, those uh, powers, Europe is also, uh, Israel is not only Russia, it's also European, right? Also belong to Jordan, and look what they are doing, everything, you know, so not to bring peace. They want peace, but this is not the peace, this peace will bring, you know, you want to make peace? I will make it with Hamas, or oh, Hamas want to destroy, to wipe out Jews. This is what the Islam law, it's on the internet, Islamic law, which said, Israel is conquerors. They took their land and their, that means their verdict, the, the, the law is that they should be killed in all ways, young and old. And this is what they are doing, the Hamas. So how can you make peace with this kind of people? Yeah, the European supports them, you know. The European, this is exactly what is written. They support Jews, the Hamas. No, you know clearly that they want to kill Jews too. Don't mind. Right, this is the world that we are in. But Purim is also positive. Purim is the gematria of Shalev, Shalva. Shalva is also calm, tranqu uh, tranquil, calm. Both of the numerical value of 336, this relationship illustrates that the power of Purim will eventually neutralize the power of Amal and Amalek and, the, and that after this is accomplished the world will become calm and tranquil. Then the earth and all its inhabitants will find relief from the forces of evil which have 
plague them for so long. So interesting what you see here, which is really so true to our time, really. Yeah, Europe, it's frightening. I, I can support Hamas. Uh, Hamas, they clearly want to wipe out Jews. They want to like Amman in Persia. Look, eh, no Arab, no Arab was against Hamas. No Arab said, Oi, what our people are doing? Our can babies and so on. Unfortunately, suffo suffocating, killing, murdering. Ah, slaughtering young babies, man. Nobody. How can you do this with them? So now we see before Messiah, God wants to show us the cruelty of, of the okay and all these things. You know, cruel of people like this, you see, nothing. European, European uh, unity. There is unity. Yeah, but this is in part of the process of Messiah to see the death, the all these terrible people, unfortunately, yeah. Because then God will uphold them from the world, but the people will say, Ah, oh, Joe, how God could do such a thing? How could do such a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Murderers. If, some, if you support murder, you are murder yourself. You must know that. You know that Jews suffered all over history. You know why? Because they did not protest against the mixed market with this the Golden Cup. They did not protest. They did not build the Golden Cup. Right? For not protesting, you say, no? For not protesting what Hamas did to Jew, killing and murdering and raping and all the things. They will pay for this, right? For oh, how very severely. Already those people <laughs> who took part, yeah, so the Israeli army already <laughs> fulfilled this thing. I hope they will finish it, yeah. But this is what is written. There is another interpretation as to why poor is derived from the word poor. If you remember, yeah, the, the, the poor is lottery. <laughs> In fact, it, it really is a, it is a simple note to what Lottery which Amman did. What is the right day, the best day, to kill, to murder Jews all up and I mean, all of them are written, all of them young. So, so this is really the name. We, remember, we mentioned, right, this Lottery did two Lotteries, yeah? Months, the months and the days to see whether the day and this is fit together. You know, you must know that it's written that Aman <laughs> and the big expert in witchcraft. You know something interesting? Rashi brings it, right? That when Jews were fighting, when there was a war between Jews and Amalek, the God had to cause the sun not to go down to ours. Yeah? It means it means that it was two hours light day. You know why it's written? Because the Amalekites knew that this is a time of the zodiac that you can be successful in gain truth and God change it. I mean, in order to change nature in such a way because of astrology that uh, Amalekite knew, Amman knew, which means that there is something behind. Rashi brings it here. So, Mary Saskar said, according to this, inform us that the name Purim is intended to show Israel the great loving kindness with which God has treated them. Yeah, God ordered that the poor, the lottery by which Ammon intended to destroy the Jews would fall during the months of Adar, a month which historically has always proved to be very suspicious for Israel. Adar comes from the term Adirs, denoting strength. It is a month which due to its quality 
and importance in the scheme of creation is more suitable for Israel's salvation than any other month. <coughs> A clear manifest indication for Israel, redemption and salvation was not given to the holiday Purim since the salvation associated with the holiday occurred by means of subtle miracles shrouded by the course of natural events. The miracles only shrouded by the course of a natural event. The miracles only surface when one reads carefully from the scroll of Esther. The events which transpired Megillat Esther, the scroll of Esther, which is the meaning of this word is Megale, like Megillah and Megale reveals Esther, the hidden mysteries of the day of Purim. This latency of God's miracles is hinted at by the verse in scripture which states, and I will surely hide my face from them on that day. Esther, the meaning of the word Esther, the queen was appointed by heaven to bring to the four gods obscure countenance. So it means all this story of Esther, yeah, has so much to teach for us, yeah. Important teaching. So in my book, Mr. Glory, Shabbat of Festival, I have read this part, this was a told this part of it, but it's so important, yeah. To see the grace of God which brings us salvation, happiness, and joy. And this is what Purim presents. Purim represents really the ideal of the world that God wants us really to enjoy, yeah, everything. But the right way, keeping Torah, keeping the mitzvot, not uh, happiness and joy. Unfortunately, it was Simchat Torah on Shabbat. So, as I said, important days we are now Purim. Yeah, this is now Purim in the city's faces which are open. Yeah, but in Jerusalem tonight, we will be the Purim in Jerusalem and other places. In Gaza also, by the way, yeah. Yeah, because those are very old places which have the wall behind. So all these there the wall in the past and so on are celebrating Purim like in Shushan, which was on the 15th, not on the 14th, the 15th. Also important date, Yud K, and the name of God, Yud and K, the two first letters of God. So, as I said, no, it's very important to learn on, on the pool, yeah. So the mitzvah to learn. So let us hope that this poem will bring us Messiah, happiness and joy. The word of Messiah in Hebrew Mashiach is Yesamach. The word of Mashiach, Messiah is he will bring us happiness. This is the meaning of the word Mashiach. Yeah. Yesamach in Hebrew means he will make us happy. God wants us to be happy, yeah. But to be happy, <laughs> you have to, to keep the Torah. You know, Hamisha, you have Hamisha, Sifrei Torah, we have, yeah, we have five po- books, right? The Torah, five, Hamisha. Hamisha is also the same letter like Simcha. <laughs> if we keep the lots of Hamisha, Humshe Torah, then we have Simcha. So let us hope that really we are Messiah keeping the Torah, repentance was important, because if not, the future looks very, very dark, you know. Oh, if you see, when all this European and, and uh, Biden and all this are for the Hamas, for the, the one Palestinian states, you know what will be in the Palestinian states? <laughs> Hamas will talk it over like they were successful before also. And then what they will do? <laughs> what they did before? 
you know, it will be easier because of the Rebbe's sight. So they can really invade Israel. So it's written, you know, that in fact they had an intention to invade more, but Baruch Hashem, God did not help them. But this is what they will do. Yeah, Palestinians say, <laughs> Hamas will control immediately because all the Arabs agree with the Hamas. They say, oh, do what you want, really want to oh, wipe out Israel. Ooh, so happy. This is what the Satan is working today. So hoping that we do the right thing and instead they have the Satan, as he said, against the words of Messiah. We have a Messiah who will bring us Everybody is all about happiness and joy.